I'm gonna be here on Thursday and Friday. Okay, because you'll be in hiding. Hey. Beekner, is my segment program? gonna be in the loft this week? Julia, have you learned nothing? Your segments never make it on the loft. Don't talk to me until you know how to white balance a camera. How'd she even get in this class anyway? It's these days. Yeah, jeez. What's up, Cincinnati? Welcome you know what we're going to say. Episode. You know what we're going to say. I'm Elena. She's Natalia. And here's another episode of The Loft. My name is Mike Marshall, and I am in ninth grade. Um, so what is your student talent? Um, I'm a professional poser. Uh, you mean like, like you model? No. Could you show us a pose? Yeah. Do you have any other poses? Yeah. Is, is that it? Yeah. Okay, so what would you say the meaning of your poses are? Life. It's, it's, it's a creative abstract of a structure that's just so inner in myself. Nobody can do it like I am. Nobody's as creative or fundamentally correct as me. They just don't try. And next up, you have student talent. Hey, hey, <laughs> what do you do when you're not posing? Shoot, uh, I play Fortnite. I call my mom, and I practice posing. How do you handle schoolwork? Oh, I don't do schoolwork. So, I dropped out the pose. But I still go to school. What do you do at school? I pose. Hey, Mike, you haven't done anything in months. You, got, you need to get to work. Yes, sir, and no. <sighs> you know, uh, it's just like, when I get sad, bro, I pose. I look myself in the mirror and I look at myself and I'm like, wow. Don't be sad. You, you got any more questions? Yeah, um, so do you have any advice for people that want to start posing or people that are inspired by you or anyone that's in Centennial High School in general? No. My name is Miss Jonas. I teach orchestra at Centennial High School. This is my second year teaching here at Centennial. It's just been a wonderful ride so far and I really enjoy it. I love orchestra. I love playing my instrument. I play the cello. I've been playing it since middle school. It's like probably the best decision I've ever made. We really have a good sense of community. It's just people from all walks of life. Like, it's just like you get your mix. That class has led me to make a whole ton of new friends, and it's just nice to see them every day. Centennial has um, given me a lot of opportunities, such as doing the Fine Arts Diploma Seal. I was able to go to a senior living to perform for them. More playing experiences that Centennial provided for me. To be able to have students who really care and are really passionate about their craft, it makes teaching high school such an awesome experience. I've met all my closest friends in orchestra, music groups. It changed because we got a new director. Or the first conductor was Miss Landro and she was truly amazing. She left during COVID. So then Miss Jonas came in and our program had kind of dwindled, but she's since brought it back to like what it used to be and it's truly amazing. Like she's such an amazing conductor and just an amazing woman in general and she really like just helps us in life and orchestra and she helps us like find calm, especially in stressful situations or in concerts. 
performances, stuff like that. And she's always rooting for me, which always helps, so. I would definitely recommend orchestra to anybody who's thinking about it, anybody who's you know in it now and is continuing it. It's just great. It's just a great community to be a part of. I love to see fellow students, friends, peers, uh, administration come out and support what we do. They don't say it, but they really appreciate seeing familiar faces in the crowds because this is hard. What we do is hard. It's kind of nice when you see like a full auditorium. Showing up to the concerts is a key way in like supporting the fine arts. It's really important for the students to support it. So continue to support and encourage your friends. The orchestra department has a concert on May 9th at 6 o'clock. It's going to showcase many of our students, including our seniors. So it would be awesome if you come out and support the Centennial Orchestra Spring Concert at 6 o'clock. And remember, today is the last day to buy your yearbooks, so don't miss out. What do you think he's going to say about your second? I think it was better than Julia's, too. Jordan, you almost messed up the entire loft. You have to film in focus. I tell you this every week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't whoa, whoa, whoa me. I'm tired of this AV slump. Well, at least mine was better than Julia's. Mine was better than most people's. And you're watching The Loft. Hey Centennial, I'm here with Coach Kirkland. 2023 region champs, first round of playoffs. How are you feeling about today? I feel good. Uh, you know, the guys work really hard for this moment. Um, I'm proud of them. They're, ex they're excited for today. They're ready for today. So we're ready to get going. Awesome. Um, and then how's the overall team dynamic? I mean, we got a bunch of different characters on this team. You got guys that have good humor, you got guys that are serious all the time, and it just makes for a good culture and good chemistry, so it's, it's, a, it's good. I'm here with Israel and Tony, and you have the highest on-base percentage and batting average on the team. How do you feel like that's led to the success of the game? Bueno, yo pienso que contribuye porque mientras más esté en base, más chance hay de hacer carrera, y el averaje pues va lo mismo, mientras más bate, más ayuda que el equipo haga carreras o yo pueda anotar o impulsarlas. He's pretty much saying that him reaching on base and him getting more hits is just an advantage when uh, on, even with his average is just an advantage of us going up and scoring more runs because that's really what wins us the ball game. Reed, you just mercy rolled Sweet in a double now. header. How are, you, how, are you, yep. how are you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. Uh, you know, I average about 25 claps and 50 woohoos per game. So, I mean, it feels great to, you know, be Sweet 16 bound. That team had no chance. We're dominating. Scored 25 runs to their uh, zero. So, you know, got to be a great feeling. Bye, guys. See you later. <laughs> Who did really well that I can be like? Carter. Carter. Carter did. He hit. Hey, Centennial, I'm here with Carter Witt. Carter, you went five for seven today, is that correct? Four for six. Four for six. You know what? We'll give it. We'll give you the extra okay, one. That sounds good.
broom? Because you're sweeping, right? Well, because we swept Tri-Cities and because I have to sweep. But Israel, you had a big grand slam today and two wins heading to the Sweet 16. How does that feel? Pues me siento muy contento de haber podido ayudar al equipo con este honrón. Y pues es mi primer honrón aquí en Centennial. Espero poder seguir dando más y llegar lo más lejos con el equipo. He's like, he, he's very excited that he gets to help the team even more. Uh, but most of all, like, he got to help out in this game. And it really brought in, like, a very important part of that. Today. That was a great performance okay. today. Four for five today. Did you go? Yeah, it was good. Did, would you like to thank anyone in the stands? Uh, I'd like to thank Dawn. Dawn's a very big supporter. She's very loud, too. Very blonde wage. She yeah. was. Was there any teachers here that you'd like to Oh, Miss Rains. Uh, thank you, Miss Rains, for coming. Shout out to Miss Rains. Go Knights. Go Knights. Go Knights. Go Knights. <laughs> Go Knights. <laughs> hey, Centennial, I'm here with Coach Kirkland. Coach, you had a doubleheader tonight. You're headed to the sweep 16, and you had a clean sweep. How does that feel? Yeah, I mean, uh, the guys came out and did their job. Um, I really didn't expect nothing less from them. Okay, they've prepared uh, hard this week and all season, so I'm proud of them. And then how do you feel like Israel's Grand Slam helped the overall team dynamic and really moved the momentum forward? Well, he's one of the strongest guys on our team, and that was actually his first of the year. We've been waiting for that moment to happen, so I'm glad he got it done tonight. All right, thank you very much. Go Knights. Sweet. Let's go. That was my question. Your word of the week, teradiddle, meaning pretentious nonsense. All right, class, we're going to be doing some math today. Our first equation is 1 plus 1. I got zero. I can't do this. This makes no sense. For real, it goes by so fast. I can't keep up. I don't get it at all. I am sick of this teradiddle. Uh, my name is Michael, aka Darkside. My name is Ola Zinkawa. My name is Maggie, and the song is called Dream On. Uh, the song really is more about taking control of your life and being able to pursue your dreams. The song is about getting over your 9 to 5 and wanting more than your typical daily life. So it's for people who's chasing their dream. The inspiration kind of was just we wanted something that people could listen to universally. Like it doesn't matter what, if you like rock, pop, hip hop. So it's more about the message and the, the vibe around it. The inspiration was, I mean, I've been working really hard. It's my junior year, and I kind of just didn't like what, just waking up. I Basically, some days I wouldn't even see the sun. There was a lot of scheduling conflicts, as well as starting it off, as like first starting it off. Maggie got sick. Doing the harmonies is definitely not easy because you're having to start at the exact same time and make it the exact same everything, but just a different note pattern, so it was definitely the most challenging part. I was inspired by Kenny G. I wouldn't say a specific artist, I would say more just a, a genre of just more like that lo-fi mixed with like the jazz, the jazz hip-hop fusion. Um, there's a song from the 90s, it's called No Rest for the Wicked, and it's a really good song about like the same kind of concept, and I do say that in the song, like Ain't No Rest for the Wicked. Uh, the song is on all platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud. Um, you just search up Dream On by Darkside, D-A-R-K, capital S-Y-D-E. Stream Dream On. Stream Dream On. And that's it for this week's Centennial. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next week. Go, Go Knights. Knights.